Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another community room on Escape Simulator, and this is The Scientist's Office, Part 1. So let's go see what this room has in store for us. Okay, let's head straight for the note first. Let's see. Whoever comes across this note must know the story of four scientists. Four brilliant minds once resided in each of their corners. The researcher, the surgeon, the archaeologist, and the mathematician. They all returned home with four mysterious glass eyes in hand, locked themselves in this room, and began discovering the secrets of the eyes. They haven't been seen for weeks since. With suspicion rising, many have offered to check in on the scientists only to find the door to be locked and the key missing. If you come across this room, we welcome you to try to get the door open. If you manage to get the door open, please report to us of what happened to the scientists. Nothing on the back. Okay, let's see. Anything in here? Can't open that. Nothing there. No, no, no. There's a coin. Saw that. Okay. Nobody could even get past opening the door? Really? If you say so. Okay. Let's see. We have several random objects stuck in this skeleton. We have a code here. Let's see. To-do list, find eye, fix statue, open box. Okay, so we need the eye to fix the stat, and then we need to fix the statue, and then we need to open the box. Well, there's the eye. Okay. That moved the statue? Okay. Uh, key, nose. Uh, 1, X, 2, G, 3, sideways, T, 4. Okay. Let's read this. Log 7. The experiments were overall a success. When it comes to, the mo to most of the subjects, we've achieved what we were aiming for. Patient 1 underwent surgery to impl implement implant mechanisms in their skeletal structure, resulting in enhanced physical attributes. Patient 2 was exposed to similar surgical treatment effort to have the brain replaced with a mechanical one. The hope is that these mechanical replacements increase the vitality, strength, and longe longevity of the subjects. Patient 3 is the only subject to not achieve the results we were aiming for. We aim to improve their eyesight, but due to a mishap in the surgical process, we ended up blinding them in their right eye. Possible surgeries to repair it were presented. Huh. However, more research is required. Sorry, I had to yawn. Let's see here. Okay, so we've got number dials here. Implant mechanisms, brain replaced. Okay, oh, we've got a piece of paper here. Patient 1, born 10, 12, 93, not very strong. They wish to use this opportunity to have their skeletal structure... Reinforced, which would result in enhanced strength. Born 4991, wanted to increase overall intelligence. Patient 3, born 11580, less than ideal eyesight. They wish to take advantage of surgery to restore their vision. Was caught tampering with surgical tools. Please keep an eye on them. Okay. I mean, sure, I suppose. Nothing we can do there, really. We need a key for this. It said repair statue. So I guess we were looking for something to repair the statue. Got I see all the tools. Let's see YG. Implant mechanisms not very strong. I don't see that... Oh, wait. No, that is here. 1-2. As a tag that says 12 on it? These only go up to 9, don't they? They do. Alright. Let's ignore that for now. We can always go back. Let's see. We have something there. We have a lion here. Okay. Anything in either one of these? We have pliers. Do I use the pliers on this? It... it I do, okay. And then we have 393. Three. Log 3, me and the scientists came back with the glass eyeballs, tried to keep our intentions under the radar, but unfortunately, town is littered with prying eyes. It wasn't our plan. Archaeologists suggested we hide from the public until we uncover the secrets of the eyes. All three of us protested the idea, but since he technically was our boss, our say had very little power. 
Mathematician and surgeon's help, we used mechanisms to lock the door as well as many of our secrets. Although hiding from the world didn't seem like a good idea, the extra quiet is pretty nice. Okay. So we've got a grinder. We have a picture frame. Can't pick it up, but I can move it. Oh. The candle opens this, gives us the key. What does this key go to? Anything here? Yes. Okay, that opens this. We have gold coin and an arrow pointing down. Golden Goblet. Okay. Plain Trophy. Animals, does the lion go there? It does. Battle. Okay. Red Book. We have Blue Coin. Alright, so blue is above the coin, red is below to the left. Probably important for something. I don't know what for sure. Chalice, that opens this. All right, so we have a blue that's up, we have a red that's in the bottom left. Wait, blue, oh, pointing down. Like that, probably. To the bottom left, red pointing down. No. Let's see. Red. It shows on the left hand side. But these. Like this one has a red gem for, exa for example. Um. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I got it. Oh. This eye turned. Oh. So it's like the corners are separate from each other maybe? 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 set some stuff down I don't want to get rid of those in case they're important do we have anything under the pillows doesn't seem like it we can start working on this next corner now the archaeologist is out of his mind these glass eyeballs are the culmination of our strive for knowledge but this is ridiculous why does he want me and the surgeon to lock us away from the public as if being looked at by the public would lead to any repercussions something tells me that he wants something more than to discover unearthed secrets these notes were the only way I could ever detail my complaints, for every time I speak my mind, the archaeologist rejects it and manages to get the others to rally behind him. We're not going anywhere with this. We're doomed. Alright, let's see. What to do here? Uh, well, these all have X's on them, so let's start with that. Okay, simple enough. We have an umbrella now. It says it's a key, so we'll put it there. Nothing there. Hat says it's a key, so we'll put the hat up there. That gives us a screwdriver. Do I use the screwdriver here? Do I have to go back and grab the the pliers? No. Huh. Maybe I need the bit for the screwdriver or something? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, was that... No, that couldn't have been for the books. Okay. One, two, three... Uh, f five, six, one, five, six, nine. Interesting. Oh, we have a piece of paper there. I assume that correlates to this yellow, green, blue. Anything I can do here? Burned wood, paper. No, 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 no. Hmm. Alright, so I can reset it. But it's the same either way, so it doesn't really matter. How many books are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 3, 5, 6, 9. Okay. And then this gives us yellow, red, blue. Okay, so this corner's done. Alright, so now we go to the next corner. We have another clue here. Er, log. Log 10. We're almost there. I can feel it. Together we've uncovered the functionality of the glass eyeballs. Managed to unlock a sort of wormhole, and from that discovered a small golden orb that defied the laws of physics. The golden orb emitted strange noises when you held your ear up to it. 
Thanks to my knowledge of ancient languages and the determination of our researcher, I was able to decode the words I heard. Rays of light, seven souls, the gate is yours. Luckily, I was able to lead the others to believe I heard gibberish. Rays of light, seven souls, the gate is yours. Alright, so this is good to go. Let's see, we have two numbers here. Is that looking for, what, like the smallest and the biggest? Or something? Or wait. These are all the same size. There's four small ones, three big ones. What if I just do four, three? Nope. Four, three. Okay, simple enough. We have another pyramid statue. Does it lock into place on one of these or no? Yes. Okay. Uh, bird, Anubis key. Or jackal, I guess. I didn't see a bird anywhere here. We have three numbers to figure out. Bird, jackal, key. Oh, the jackal looks like it is a key, actually. I mean, it, it attaches. Oh, wait. Oh, it's from which side? Okay. Where's the bird? Oh, 416. Okay. So, 416. Okay. And then we get the bird. Now we need to find the key. No. Although it actually shows that there's four here. So whatever the fourth item is, I guess. Can't do anything with those. Can't do anything else with the plant. Four, one, six small one we got the big one that's all fine and dandy it's like supposed to be okay so big small big small big small small big uh that's which it, big small big small big small small big all right so this one jackal key is big small small big small it's the exact opposite so it should be here big small small big small big small big right so this one is key so bird is big, small, small, big, big, uh, big, small, small, big, big, small, big, small. Yes, so bird goes here, and that gives us key, and key goes the exact opposite of that, so key goes here. And that, oh, that's moving this entire bookshelf. Okay, and that gives us this key, which I guess goes in the other one. Okay, so now we're back to this corner here, and looking for anything I can mess around with. Don't know if there is per se. We got the eye, we're missing a key. Key, it shows, is in the nose of one of the skeletons. What if I just really get up under here? Really take a look here. That moves the stat. Fountain pen, tray, decoration. Can't really do anything with the decoration. Drop that, drop that, drop that. Implant mechanisms, brain replaced. Oh, wait. Wait, maybe the code is... What is the second one's? Four nine nine one. Let's try that. Four nine nine one. That was his birthday. All right, and then we get a key. Key goes into that one's nose. Opens this. Gives us our thing here. All right. One two three four five. 
We have one two there, so like a 12. Not very strong, which used opportunity born, overall intelligence. All right, so now we just need to figure out a three digit code. Less than ideal, caught, okay. Eyes, patient one, two, brain replaced, blinding them in the right eye. Okay. Nope, didn't, nah, that's fine. Nothing special sticks out there. Find the eye, fix statue. Open box. I mean, I did, I did all that. Okay. The key is just for that. I don't want to grab the key back. I don't want to grab the key back. Oh, they have tags on them. YG. Oh, is that just, is three in sideways T? Three, eight... Three eight six maybe three eight six Okay, so that moves now Okay And we carry onwards to victory Scientist's office part one is complete. I really like how each corner was very unique and had completely different feels from each other they didn't interact at all. None of the items went back and forth. I enjoyed it a lot. I This was a very well-made map. That being said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please like the video. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for content that you would like to see. And subscribe to the channel. As always, I will see you all next time. And this is Travesty, signing off.